situation. It's all this happening under the leadership of a Nobel Peace Prize winner. Uh, you can't You're referring to Aung San Suu Kyi, the de facto, de facto leader. leader of the nation. So she's a fellow, a sister Nobel Peace Absolutely. Prize winner. Absolutely. We have been working together for many years. Suddenly we see a completely different face for her. This is a woman who is imprisoned either house arrest or jail for 15 years or by the very military she's now working, working. with and that uh, is responsible the whole, for the ethnic cleansing. supported her. She stood for democracy. She stood for human rights. She stood for all the human values. You can think about her speeches are uh, full with all these values, uh, uh, upholding these values for her nation. And he suffered. She was in prison in the house uh, arrest, under house arrest for many, many years. And now she comes to power, and we see a completely different face from uh, the Peace Nobel laureate. And she uh, defends this in saying that we don't know why these uh, Rohingyas are leaving this country. Uh, so there are so many reports coming, and you have uh, reports from international press, media, and so on. And I have been inviting her to come to Bangladesh, see these people, and tell them that uh, Myanmar is as much as their country as hers. Says, and I have come to take you back to your uh, Myanmar, own country. The, the name that the military, military has renamed Burma. Burma. Yeah, the Burma. We are I'm taking, taking you back to Burma. Uh, she doesn't do that. And uh, you mentioned about 400,000 already coming in uh, in a very drastic circumstance, uh, dead bodies floating on the border river and uh, uh, all the atrocities that go on behind the whole thing that are coming. And UN estimate is uh, by the end of the year it will exceed million refugees coming from uh, United uh, from uh, Burma. Uh, uh, the whole uh, estimate that is given by the uh, um, government of Burma, that there's about a million uh, Rohingyas in the country. So if you have a million coming to Bangladesh, what is left in you? So when people say it's a ethnic cleansing, it's a perfect example of ethnic cleansing. Many government leaders like um, President Macron and others were saying this is genocide, per a, a very clear case of genocide that is taking place. And the world has not taken a, a definitive step. They have condemned individually and so on. Uh, still, the uh, UN Security Council, to whom we have appealed, please step in, do something, so that people uh, can go back to their own homes. And uh, if, it is, if it is delayed, it will become more complicated, and the terrorism and other things will flourish in this region, and the whole uh, stability of the region will be at risk. If Aung San Suu Kyi said, stop the ethnic cleansing, um, could she stop it alone? Would the military listen to her? Uh, the the role of the leadership is to be bold. Even if it's not happening right now, you, stood, you stand for something. You don't just give in, say, okay, what can I do? Even that she's not saying. She doesn't, she doesn't say, what can I do? She simply says, I, I don't know where they are living. I, I didn't see anything wrong. Uh, so that's not a good kind of uh, leadership. And then she's stopping all the foreign visitors, all the foreign observers to come in. She has not allowed any foreign visitors to come in. Even the media cannot go. Uh, so uh, people have immediate uh, uh, reason to believe that something terribly wrong happening inside of uh, Myanmar or Burma.